It's very <laughs> tough. So what I try to do in a divorce is, first of all, if I know the other lawyer and we're friends and colleagues, we're usually on the same page. We want to get a case settled. It might take some time. You have to exchange all this information. So my relationship with the other lawyer is critical. Are we on the same page? Are we friends? Can we trust each other? Is that lawyer a dirty liar or in it for the money? So if we have that chemistry, then we all can actually meet in the same room. So pretend Molly's my client and you are the other lawyer and your client's right there. I try to kill your client with kindness. And I'm working for her, but I want to get a deal done. So when I'm talking to you about the case and your client is sitting right there, I'm talking to the client, but I'm doing it to you. Mm -hmm. So listen to me. Why would you want to spend $200,000 to get $50,000? Your client heard it, mm -hmm. and I'm talking to her. Mm -hmm. How could she not hear what I'm saying? That person's then going to think, sounds like Adam's in it for all the right reasons. He wants to get us out of here. Now, the client that says to you, I'd rather spend it and give it to you rather than give it to them, I say, you your head examine then. I'll take the money, but come on, this is, a, this is math, like all this. It's about investment and return especially when it comes to money. Custody, maybe you can't settle. Eventually, because I have a good relationship with you, the other lawyer, I actually start to talk to that client because you're going to let me talk to that client as long as it's in front of you and try to say, listen, what are we doing here? We're fighting over an extra overnight with your son. We're fighting over $50,000 when him and I are going to charge you $200,000. let us get it done. And this leads to the last anecdote. Recently, and Molly was there. When you settle a case, sometimes you all sit in the same room and you have like five agreements takes forever to um, right. sign them. And it's really sort of like a, this is it. When you do that, you're closing the case. And it's fun because you know you're done. Your clients are happy. So we recently did one. And I liked my adversary. And I liked the other client. There was the wife. I had the husband. Molly was there. So when the case was over, and they were all at the end, I ran downstairs to the candy store. And I bought five scratch-off lottery tickets. Once the case was settled, I handed out five scratch-offs. And I said to everyone, whoever wins, we're splitting at 50-50. And they all started like, laughing. I mean, this is most cases end that way with sort of a, it's like getting married, yeah. getting divorced. You're happy. So, yeah, yeah, you're glad it's all over. And that's true. Yeah, that time you're just mentally yeah, fatigued. You, you so. want to get credibility with the other client, mm -hmm. that you're not there to BS them. You're not there right. to fool them or steal from them. What I do tell them is, listen, if I have to go into that courtroom because you're not being reasonable with us, just reasonable, fair, you're not going to like it yeah. because I'm not going to kill you with kindness in there at well, all. That's, I mean, it's really interesting in that, that you found a way to kind of make it work, it, it make a, a tough situation work the best that you possibly can. So that's, yeah. you know, that's interesting and beneficial to both sides. You can kind of move on with your life at this exactly. point. So Don't yeah. you want to get out of this yes. lawyer's office? Right. You want to be in the courtroom for the Stop next Stop paying years? all the bills. So. <laughs> I'll take your money. Yeah. That's foolish. <laughs> thank you very much, Adam and Welcome. Molly, for joining thank us you. with those tips. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.